Hi friends, welcome to Black Smells 31. I am Sai Lakshmi. Hope you are doing well. In today's video, I am going to talk about date parse function in Tableau. Let's get started. So we have different types of date functions available in Tableau. Date parse is one among them. So I have listed some of the important date functions over here. So date parse is one among them. Date parse function helps us to convert the strings into dates. And the example is right below. Date parse of the format in which we want to convert the date and the column um, in which the string data is available should be passed within the date parse function. Let me open Tableau Desktop and show you how to use date parse function in Tableau. I have opened Tableau Desktop and I have taken sample superstore data. And in sample superstore data, by default, we have uh, order date column available and I have duplicated that column and converted into string because here we are trying to convert a string into date. That's why that's where we use date parse function. So I have converted this particular column to a string and the calculation is right below. So string of order date. So this is the calculation I have wrote to convert a date to a string. Now we are try, trying to convert this particular string to a date. So let me create a calculated field and show you how we can do that. So date parse function I am typing in and within date parse function I am trying to pass the specific date format. So, yyyymmdd. This is the date format I am trying to pass within date parse function. And now I am going to pass this column named order date string. So, it says the calculation is valid. And now I am changing the calculation name to date parse test. I am clicking on OK. So before clicking on OK, I would like to show the description and uh, the syntax along with the example, which is right beside the date parse function. So as soon as I type in date parse function, the function has been highlighted over here and we can see the date parse usage along with the description with its syntax and an example as well. So we have wrote the calculation already. I am clicking on OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the order date string available. And now let me bring this date parse test as well. See, as soon as I bring this particular string, you can see the exact dates is getting displayed over here. Since it's a string, it's not showing the hierarchy, like whether it is year or quarter or month or day. So we'll be able to do this hierarchy drill down on drill up, drill up on a date field. But when it comes to string, we won't be able to do it. So when we are trying to do this type of uh, um, operations or when we are trying to convert a particular string to a date field, we use date, date parse function and convert it. And on strings, we won't be able to uh, do the drill, drill up and drill down. So whereas on date field, we will be able to do it easily. So we have drill down. Now let's drill up. So now what I'm going to do now is I am drilling up to the higher level I am taking it and then let me convert this to exact date. So now this is a date field when I try to convert it to exact date it will be it will be displaying the column in green color the pill will be in green color because it will be uh, displayed as a measure. Now let me convert it to discrete so that we can see the exact values. Now, as you uh, use date parse function, by default, it will give the result in the form of date time format. 
So if you observe the icon over here, you can see there is a calendar symbol along with a clock symbol as well. So calendar along with the clock is nothing but date time format. So when you observe this other date, you can see only calendar symbol over here. So that means it is only denoting date. Whereas if you observe this column, you can see calendar along with clock. That means date time, a data type has been uh, imposed on it. So now this is how you can use date parse function and convert the strings into dates. Hope the video is helpful. Thank you guys. Thanks for landing at my channel, Lagsmiths31. If you like my video or like my content, please like, share and let me know in the comments what could have been better. And if you have any questions for me, do let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Have a nice day. Bye bye.